we are back here with another chapter, another code tutorial, this time the code for the mechanical bird. Just like all previous chapters, the code is designed to be simple to implement and easy to manipulate to your liking. So this code is going to be triggered by the ultrasonic sensor, the wings will flap, five times and the head will turn side to side as well during that time while the eyes turn on and off to give a mimicking of blinking and as it does that it will also then move the legs that are hanging freely below so let's go ahead and get started into this code we're going to get the new project i'm going to call this mechanical bird code tutorial you can call it whatever you would like we are going to use word blocks and we're going to go ahead and hit create here. Now, the first thing that we want to do in the program is we want to make sure that the mechanical bird starts in the same position every time we start up the code. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to create a code stack that's just going to kind of neutralize and reset everything of the mechanical bird when it starts. So we're going to begin with the purple light block and we're going to be looking for the lights that are on the ultrasonic sensor. Our ultrasonic sensor is port B for this example code. And we just want to make sure that the eyes are on so we know that the bird is activated, you know, quote unquote alive. We're also going to set movement speed to 15%. And we can adjust this, you can adjust the speed to your liking. This just kind of gives a nice flow so we can see everything and actually make it look like it's flying. But this would be a code block if you want the wings to go faster, the head to turn faster, you could definitely do that. Um, but to keep these separated, so this block is going to control the wings. And let's actually add in here another blue motor block that is setting the speed. So we will set this speed differently. So we will take this to port F. This is the motor that operates the head of the bird turning side to side. And that way you can have the bird's head turn at a different speed than the wings up here in this pink block. So that way you can kind of calibrate to your liking. The last thing we're going to do in this code stack is we are going to just get everything to position zero. So we're going to use this block right here, motor A, go to shortest path to position zero. And we're just going to do that for all our motors. So motor C, I'm going to duplicate this, drop it down. I'm going to make this for motor D. And I'm going to do it one more time for our other motor, which is F. This will have everything in the set position to begin. Next up, we are going to go to a event block here in the yellow coding section, and we're going to bring over a ultrasonic se sensor block. So when this is triggered, so what's going to happen here is we're actually going to be doing two of these um, in our code stacks. So let's start with this one down here. Our ultrasonic sensor is port B. So when our ultrasonic sensor detects an option closer now let's make it five inches you can obviously dial this into your liking so with a hand wave or some other gesture the ultrasonic sensor detects an object the bird's going to quote unquote fly away and be on the lookout so we're going to go here and we're going to set our movement motors here and we're going to make these c and d so we know which motors we're moving and we're just going to do this pink block, move up for 10 centimeters. We're going to make this 5, and we're going to change it from centimeters to rotations. So 5 complete rotations of our wings. Over here, while our wings are flapping here, we're going to get the bird looking from side to side. So we're going to change this and make it just like the other one. So when it detects 5 inches, the same method here of deployment. We need to make this port B. 
We are going to add a weight block here for a minute. We want to make sure the wings are, are up and running. So in our con control, the orange blocks, we're going to go here. And let's just wait for half a second just to make sure the motors are queued up and ready to rock and roll. We are then going to add underneath that a repeat until. In this way, we can make sure the bird stops looking side to side at the same time as the wings that we have down here. But remember earlier, we have two different speeds. So we don't want one stopping before the other. So the way we do that is I'm gonna go here and put an operator block of an equal sign. And I'm gonna put in here zero instead of 100. And I'm gonna put in the motor block right here of power. Let's see. Oh, look, we don't have it in here. So what are we to do? Remember down here in this bottom left corner, we have this block extension group. And there's all sorts of things that we can add. So let's go ahead and add the blue more motor block extension. You can see I got a check mark. That means that it's already installed. So now if I scroll to the bottom of my coding down here, I can see more motors. Now look at, here's the block we need. This is repeat until, I'm gonna make this C, C power equals zero. So notice over here in this code stack, the movement motors of C and D are gonna go for five rotations and then stop. So at that point, C will be at power zero. I could have made this D if I wanted. And so it's gonna repeat what's ever in here until C is zero and then this little loop block here is going to kick out and as well. So what we want to have happen while the wings are moving, well, we want to make sure the eyes are blinking and moving and doing all that good stuff. So we will start here with our eyes lit up. We're then going to go back up to our regular motor stack of blocks here, and we're going to bring over the shortest path. And I'm going to make this, oops, first I got to make this ultrasonic sensor port B. Man, if your code doesn't work, sometimes this is the best thing to check. Make sure you got the right ports all plugged in here. Now for our motor, we're gonna make sure we are correct. So that's gonna be F, and this is gonna be the shortest path, and I'm gonna choose 330 degrees. You might have to dial this in a little bit to your build. Basically, we don't want the head to go too far to either one side. We don't want the head to spin all around unless you're going for a, a kind of a spooky bird. Uh, we want it to be right in the pathway of just kind of looking side to side how birds do when they're in flight looking and checking things out we're then going to add a weight block in here and i'm going to make it a half a second just enough to be noticeable but not too long all right and then i'm going to bring that same motor block again but this time we're going to move the shortest path i'm going to make it position 30 and then I'm going to turn the lights and the ultrasonic sensor off. So I'm going to go here to the purple light block, or ultrasonic sensor, make sure I got port B this time, and I'm now going to turn these off. And look at, you can kind of have four, well, a lot of different options, four ways to have these lights turn on and off in the eyes. I'm just going to have it turn all the way off. And then for event or control, I'm going to add one more weight block. This is going to be really quick just going to make it a quarter of a second just enough so when it kicks back up here we can see that it was off and the eyes are back on again so this code stack will be running as long as motor c is in movement with this code stack and these two will both be triggered when an object is detected and that's it that's the code and your bird should now have its head swivel side to side blinking while the wings flap once it senses an object close by. As I said at the beginning, possibilities are endless. So I would love to see what you do with this mechanical bird, how you animate it and bring it to life, do different things, change how it looks. So be sure to share that when you get an opportunity. And I hope this code tutorial is helpful. And as always, my friends, remember, stay awesome. Peace.